Good morning and welcome back. Today I want to talk about the air pump system on this Thunder Laser Bolt, how it works with the settings and light burn on your cut and your engraved layers, and why it's important to understand how it works and when to use it. Today on Laser Nug. Before we begin, I just wanted to note that the video is more for beginners or people that have just recently got their bolt and are trying to understand how the air assist works on your bolt and why you need it. It's a question that I had for a while and after a couple of support calls with Thunder Laser and a little bit of experience, I think I've got it. If I say anything that you find might be incorrect or that you may want to add to, please feel free as always to leave it in the comments. Helps all of us. With that said, let's start with two basic premises. The first, your laser creates energy, heat energy in fact. Your tube sends a beam of energy, hits a mirror, comes through the side of the bolt, hits another mirror, hits a mirror on your laser head, and then runs through your focal lens. Your focal lens takes that energy and combines that energy into a tiny, tiny dot of condensed, concentrated energy. Heat, and a lot of heat. It's not heat spread across a, a volume or an area. It's a lot of heat concentrated in this tiny little dot or this tiny laser beam. If you're putting different materials in, such as wood, acrylics, MDF, plywood, and many others, these types of materials don't respond well to high concentrated heat. They often catch fire. So to finish it up, if we can agree that if you were to put acrylic or MDF or plywood or just wood into your fireplace, it's gonna melt and or catch fire. If we can agree to that, let's talk about the air assist system on the bolt. We take a look down here inside the cabinet on the left side, you will see an air pump. And coming off of that air pump is a black tube. If you follow that black tube up and out into the top of your laser, you'll see that it runs through the cable tray. It then runs along the back of your gantry and it comes to your adjustment knob for your air control. Leaves that adjustment knob, comes back, runs through this cable tray, through this pipe, and down to this fixed nozzle right here on the right hand side of your laser head. There are two ways that we're able to control how much air gets to that nozzle in the front of the laser head. The first is this control knob or control switch here. You'll notice that there's a negative on this side and a positive on this side. If I turn my control clockwise, I reduce the amount of air coming through this control, getting to the front of the laser on the nozzle. If I turn it counterclockwise towards the plus sign, I'm gonna allow more air to flow to the front nozzle. How do I adjust it? Right here, there's a lock screw. You need to undo that lock screw and that will allow you to adjust your air. When you're done, just tighten that lock screw down, just finger tight, you don't need tools. It's just there to help hold it in the setting that you left it so it doesn't accidentally move or get bumped. Second way is here in light burn, your air assist setting or toggle switch. Turning the air assist on and off here in light burn, it just controls how much air is pumped from the pump on the bolt. Let me explain. When you send a file to the bolt and you press start, the air pump will always send some air to this nozzle. If you turn the air assist toggle on on your layer in light burn, the file tells the bolt to fire the pump up as hard as it can so it pumps as much air as it can to this nozzle. And the amount of air that gets to this nozzle when the pump is running on high is controlled by this control switch. I haven't confirmed this, but I believe it's a two-stage pump in the back of the bolt. I have confirmed through testing and through my experience that air always comes out of that nozzle. It's just when you don't use the air assist in light burn, a very, very small amount of air comes through. When you hit the air assist, the pump kind of turns up on high and it fires as much air as you've allowed through that hose using the control 
switch in the back. How do you know that you've got air coming out of that nozzle? Well, it's situated or fixed on the right side of the laser head. It's pointed down and it's pointed to the left. And you'll know because this side of your engrave virtually never has any residue or debris or any type of exhaust on it. But as the laser comes across this side of your design, you always find all of that debris and resin. That's because the nozzle is pushing the air this way. That's why I always mask my wood. So why is air important and what does it do for you? The air control performs a number of very important functions. One, which I believe is the least important, is it clears debris out from the path of the laser. The second thing, which I think is still not the most important, is it helps to keep debris and resins off of the lens by allowing an airflow there to clear it out of the way, to try to help keep your lens clear. The third thing it does is it helps to keep the lens cool. Remember you have energy being forced through that focal lens and it's heat energy. So adding fresh air through there or a stream of air helps to cool the lens. The most important function of that air assist is that it keeps the material cool while that high concentrated heat is trying to cut through it or engrave it. If you don't use air assist when you need to, especially when you're cutting any type of materials, this happens. And sometimes this happens. <laughs> or this happens. The air tries to keep the material cool while you're applying a very concentrated high heat to what would otherwise be a flammable material. So if we come back here into light burn, on this particular design, I have two layers. I have a black engraved layer over here to the right, a fill layer, and I have a cut layer or a line layer on this design. If I open my fill layer, I have a high speed with a reasonably low power percentage. In my case, I don't, I virtually never put on air assist because I don't need it. Because the laser head is speeding across that material, it's not hung for long periods of time in the same spot on the material, especially at a low power setting. So I tend not to put high air, as they call it, or air assist on. And you'll see, there's no air there, no air here. However, on my red layer, if I take a look at my cut settings, I'm now slowing the laser head down to a very slow speed at an extremely high temperature. I need air assist. So I always use air assist on my cut layers. So hey, just a quick video today because I had this question again and I've had it several times and I remember back when I first got my bolt, I had the same confusion because the manual doesn't really describe the air system very well or what its function is. You may or may not agree with my beliefs or, or my thoughts or opinions today, and by all means, that's totally okay. If you have more experience and you believe that perhaps there's some things that could be added or additional information that can help a lot of new or beginner laser operators, please feel free to throw them in the comments. Have a great week. Please be kind to one another, and I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter, and you've been watching LaserNug. Cheers.